What is up guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts and today we're going to be taking a look at the short film OMG. Uh, now this short film was made by Chris Allen of Star Kid fame. He played Alfred in Holy Musical Batman and of course Annie in Annie and apparently there's a lot of Star Kids in this short film. So I am really excited. Uh, and huge thank you to my amazing patron Kat for recommending this. Uh, and honestly, just, you know, yeah, telling me about it because there's no way I ever would have found this, you know, without you. So thank you so much. And apparently this gets like weirdly deep. So I, I have low-key always wanted to see Star Kid in something or like Star Kid actors in something really serious. Like I know we had Nightmare Time and there were moments that it was got really, really heavy, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to see them in like a hardcore drama. I don't know why. If you guys think that's a good idea, please let me know down in the comments. But either way, I am really excited for this. So thanks again, Kat. Thank you all so much for watching. And let's go ahead and get into it. Figures on this is Houston. Figures on this is Houston. Do you copy? How does it look? It's fine. Oh my God, does Brian. It look nice? Is that yeah. Denise? Yeah, it's fine. Oh my God, it is Denise. Is it too small? Chris, it's perfect. Just like, I want it to look nice. I want it to be a surprise. Do you think Joe's gonna be surprised? Probably not. Oh, come on, maybe just a little bit? No. Are you in a bad mood? The guy's been in space for five years. I just don't think that a banner is going to do very much to surprise him. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I can't believe that Joe went to space. I can't believe he saw God. What's that? What? I said, I can't believe he saw God. You don't really believe that, do you? What? That our friend Joe spoke to God in space? All over the news. I didn't ask if it was all over the news. I asked if you believed it. Don't be an asshole tonight, please. What? When everybody gets here and when Joe gets here, don't be an asshole tonight, please. Look, the guy's my best friend. I haven't seen him in years. I'm just gonna have some beers with him and talk to him about space, that's all. If you say so. What the hell? Hey, can I talk to you about something? You're with me now, okay? You know, you're not with him anymore. He... He left. He chose space over you. So... You know, I could be working a really good job at my dad's textile factory, but I'm not because I wanted to be here. I chose you. And... Now I work in a movie theater. Here you go again, Gus. Blame the world. I don't blame anybody. Just remember, this is his, not yours. Holy shit! I might be getting my my serious star kid thing. Oh, Joe is in this. Jeff Blim is in this. Oh my god, Meredith. Oh, I missed it. Oh my god. I am, I am really excited to see where this goes. Thank you. Thank you. Where the hat? Oh my God, Dylan. Yeah. Okay, so Joe, <laughs> talk to God. I just want to say a quick word. Thank you. So much. You can get pretty lonely in outer space, but it's good to see my I believe in friendship. And I'm looking forward to making up for a little bit of lost time. So cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, Denise is gonna leave Brian during Are this you party. Surprised? Like tonight, were you surprised? 
<laughs> yeah, I was so surprised. Really? Aw. I missed you. Joel. Did you miss me? I'm sure space was more amazing than anything you had going on here. It was. You saw God up there, Joel. First time we met. Yeah. You look so funny in those bowling shoes. I remember. Oh my god. It was a lot like that. God, oh, Jesus. Brian is kind of a dick, but I still, I, I feel for the guy. You want a cigarette? No. That's not for me anymore. What are you doing out here, then? I need a writer, Gus. A bit early to be thinking about your memoirs, don't you think, Joe? I need somebody to write a Bible. What? Are you serious? I need to find out what happened up there. Write it yourself. You know English was never my strong suit. You always looked over my shoulder. But he was... So what were you talking to Kristen about in there? <clears throat> she wanted to know if I was surprised. I told her I was, but I wasn't. I've been to space. <laughs> yeah. Brian knows his best friend. You met God, I understand. Oh, you think I'm... Lying? No, no, I believe that you believe you saw God that night. What do you think I'm talking about up there? I don't know, Joe. You think I'm crazy? I think you'd have to be a little crazy to spend five years in space, yeah. Hey, guys. Ow, it's cold. Tell me about it. We're uh, ready to watch the video if you are. Great. <laughs> After you, Major Tom. <laughs> Little David Bowie reference. So it's gonna be the video of him meeting God. Dude, where is this going? I'm just gonna have to kind of see it from my point of view. Well, that's an impossibility. I 
Okay. What do you say? Yeah, what do you say? Hey, how many views did this video have? Last time I checked, it was uh, around 70 million. Jeez, that's a lot. So what did he say, Joe? I don't know what he said, but that's what I'm here to find out. You don't remember what he said? He wasn't speaking our language, so no, I don't know what he said. But I know what he wanted. What did he want? Well, God, he wants us to love each other, you know? God actually came to me in a dream once. Yeah? Yeah, he, he took the form of my dead father. That wasn't God. <laughs> That's not what he looks like. Dude, you are so full of shit. Gus. I no. mean, I'm kind of with Brian here. mind everybody, and it's wrong. I saw him. He spoke to me. All right, well then why wasn't he speaking in English? Well, I don't know, Gus. How come he wasn't speaking in Japanese? Listen, Gus, the point I'm making is that even if God were speaking in Spanish, unless he said, hi, Joe, my name is God, where is the library? I wouldn't be able to understand him, would I? Okay, well, just tell us what you saw then. You know, what was it that you actually saw? Was it the classic old man on a cloud situation? Did you see Jesus' face in an asteroid? Just tell us what you saw. Just tell us the truth. I saw God. You're lying. Well, then what did I see up there, Gus? I don't fucking know. I think you had a space freak out. Gus, you're just jealous. Jealous of what? No, God doesn't want this. Because Joe went to space, and the closest you ever got was Space Mountain. I don't want to go to space. Joe wants to go to space. That's his thing. Oh, but you wanted to work in a movie theater? I like movies. And no, I wanted to be with you. That's what I wanted. Do you think I didn't want to be with you? He left. You left. And I can't help but think that it was all part of God's plan. Is this just this one big ruse for him to get right Denise now. back? You I've known you my whole life. You've never been like this before. It's like, does anybody else get that? Gus, I think you've had enough, man. Just put the drink down for a second. I'm not even there, dude. Gus, people change. Can't you admit that to yourself? That maybe this experience has fundamentally changed me. Oh my God. <gasps> that's fucking beautiful. And I think that that's part of the beauty of God his plan that we can all change all of us but there's always going to be a naysayer somebody who's afraid afraid to admit the truth to themselves afraid to blast off into space I'm so glad you're finally home me too Yeah, I'm still with Brian, man. I think Joe is full of shit. God, Brian, don't leave. If you leave, you admit defeat, man. hurts, you know? It's like, you're never gonna know what it feels like to love somebody. Never not love you back. Don't be selfish, guys. Hey, is everything alright? Yeah, can you just give me a second? How do you know you saw God? No, he didn't. That's all I know.
Some people can't believe in anything anymore, right? Damn it, I wanted closure, man. Okay, well, number one, I didn't see Jeff Blim anywhere in there. Uh, number two, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Did Joe actually see God or didn't he? I, 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 I wanted to believe, I went into this believing, but some of the things that he was saying, especially asking how many views the video had gotten, like if you were to meet God, I would imagine that would be an incredibly profound experience. It would really like change who you are at like a fundamental level. And I just don't see that kind of person asking about the number of views on the video. That that was like a, a big one for me where I'm like, man, I, I Brian could have picked a, a better location, but I think he might have been right. And I feel like this was brushed over in the short film itself. But why did God not speak Joe's native tongue? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't God be able to speak pretty much any language? Like, doesn't that go along with the whole omnipotent thing? Or, I, I, I don't know. There's, there's things that don't make sense here. But at the same time, when Joe and Brian, when they were having that nice, you know, heart to heart outside on the steps, I, I just don't want to believe that Joe is that much of a snake where he would be, you know, saying those things and having this beautiful moment with Brian, but the entire time have that ulterior motive where I'm like, I'm just trying to get back together with Denise, which was what I thought, but I, I just, I, I don't want to believe that Joe is lying, but the facts just... It, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Maybe he honestly believes that he he talked to God. So maybe he's not necessarily lying. It's just the things that he's saying, it, it doesn't make any sense. Guys, definitely let me know what you think uh, about this. Also, when he was talking to Brian about needing to write a Bible, like, I need to find out what happened up there. It's like, dude, you were there. Like, no one is going to be able to, like, help you realize that more than more than you, you know, unless, I, I, I don't know, maybe he's hoping that through like an interview process, he might remember more things. I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I just, I don't, I don't understand it. But Brian though, like Brian was awesome. Really Brian and Joe were, were both really good. Uh, I loved, like, I just love the idea of, you know, flawed protagonists. And, and that was Brian. I feel like that's what that entire kind of opening scene uh, was to show us with him and Denise that he's, um, for lack of a better word, an anti-hero, uh, which I really liked. But then, you know, at the end, with Denise is like, you know, don't be selfish. What does that mean? Like, don't be selfish. Let me, you know, leave you to go back to Joe. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. And even though, you know, Brian is as flawed as his character was, I really did feel bad for him there at the end. Granted, he probably could have picked a better time to talk to Joe about this if he really did believe that Joe was full of shit. You know, maybe not during his welcome home party. Maybe while you guys are like, you know, having a drink, maybe privately, maybe by yourself, so you don't have this giant blow up in front of the entire party. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, Brian definitely made mistakes, but at the end of the day, I feel like his logic was sound. I feel like Joe didn't actually meet or talk to God. Man, I was not expecting, you know, this to be as deep as it was. Oh, Chris Allen. Uh, and Joe, you know, Joe is, it, it's so hard for him in my eyes to be like a dislikable person. So even though I thought, man, he's probably making this all up, whenever he was talking about it, like he had just that, that twinkle in his eye. Even when that girl was like, oh yeah, I saw God in the form of my dead dad. And he's like, no. God, God doesn't look like that. That, that's no, that wasn't him. Another thing where I'm like, this is kind of messed up. But even though he was saying that, I'm still like, man, you're still Joe. Like I still want to give you the benefit of the doubt. 
I don't know. This is probably the most conflicted I've been from a star kid inspired, you know, star kid tree thing that I've seen so far. Real interesting. Cat, thank you so much for this. <laughs> um, and yeah, like the music, I also really liked the music. Um, I mean, the level it was a little high. I think it drowned out Joe's lines a couple of times, but the actual original music itself I thought was really good. Uh, and the, like the shots, the filmmaking, like when Joe, after Joe and Brian were talking on the steps and they're walking in to listen to the video, and there's just that shot of Brian and camera is, is, is walking, you know, with him. I really like that. Like the shot composition as well as the music at the time. I feel like that was a really, really beautiful shot. Oh man, I should have looked at who directed this, but hopefully they've done more things because that was inspired. This was, this was something. Yeah, please, please guys, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, Jeff Blim was definitely the NASA guy at uh, Mission Control. I don't know how I missed that before. I thought he was Dylan. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Kat, thank you again, and I will see you all in a reaction very soon.